I just heard great rumbling thunder in the middle of the night, and recognizing it, felt immense gratitude that it wasn't an earthquake leading to this building crumbling down and falling with me in it. Gratitude. When I began my 27th year on this earth, I was shaky in every way and was holding on by a string, which often I'd hope would just snap. But it didn't. And the thing that brought me to the end of a long, long streak of rock bottom after rock bottom after rock bottom was this word, home. What is it? Where is it? Will I find it? Will I ever have a stable place to be? Will I find a community? Will I ever feel safe and protected? Is there a place where I could just be me completely? These were my questions as I'd traveled around from state to state, spending a few months here and there, trying to find a place that I could settle down in um, for about a year and a half. But, as always, the answer was ever, ever so simple. Home is my mind. That's the only place I have to live. And of course, there's the body too, but the mind, my mind, that's home. And I've just been letting people, fears, bad circumstances and experience, just land there and stay there in my mind where the space is finite and trust me, I left no room for hope, let alone joy. Still, this world, earth, the universe, God, my ancestors or whatever you believe in, whatever I believe in, I was blessed and whatever I believe in blessed me and sent me experiences which could compete with and take up the room which was occupied by the negative. I realized it was up to me to remove the negativity and generate a grateful space to hold preciously the positive. Stay there, dwell on that with a joyous smile. The year 27 brought me swaths of ecstatic joy, sublime bliss, I experienced various forms of love and respect in ways I'd never before experienced. I was cared for. And goodness me, were those highs met too with horrible, terrible lows. I got to openly, clearly see some great flaws within me. I adapted to various horrible ongoing situations in the ways I knew, but which essentially burned me further. There was a lot that was new, and I tried my best to figure it out. It was very, very difficult. But I don't blame myself. Though I didn't always do right, I don't carry any guilt. I don't carry any guilt, though I may be perceived as the wrongdoer by some wretched souls. My conscience is clean, and my heart is clear. I am still overridden by or with fears these days, but I am proactively trying to manage them and keep myself engaged in good things. I want to keep maintaining the garden of my mind. I want it and myself to bloom. I think I'm in a good place and doing some good things to flourish joyously. It is up to me. But I'm thankful for the love and support of my dear, dear loved ones, who are not just a great support system, but give me the shake to maintain my sense of reality and normalcy rooted in goodness and love. I am blessed. And though the same trials may try to come again over and over, I shall do better to withstand their blows and not be shaken, uprooted, abused, or disrespected. Because now I'm reconnected and self-nurturing, less naive and full of life and hope, and perfectly aware of how filled and surrounded and protected I am by wonderful beings, safety, goodness, and love. I am loved. I am blessed. I am good. 
and I do good things. And I am deserving of this, and the more that I dream and work towards progressing to. All that is already happening. Time has never waited, and my life is happening. Thank you.